Okay, first of all, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone out there. And, you know, thank you for all your blessings. My dream, partially, has come true. Um, I haven't been my best, I'll put it that way. So, in not being my best, I uh, had to take some time off because I'm in the process, I was in the process of healing. So, of course, my dear, sweet, beautiful landlord, she comes by to collect my rent last night. And, of course, I didn't have it. Because if I don't work, I don't get paid. So, I was telling her, you know, I just, you know, emailed your husband and let him know that this situation with my neighbors has just run havoc up, up in my nerves. So therefore, I have diarrhea all the time. Cancel, cancel, cancel. So she's like, well, what would happen and what did they give you? And I said, well, you know, doctors, they just give you that chalky kale pectate stuff and you gotta pay, you know, $10 for it. And she says, oh, well, try this other thing. Lomotil, L-O-M-O-T-I-L. -O -O so I'm gonna stop and get some of that tonight on the way home. And the good news is I was informed that my dear, sweet, loving, beautiful neighbors have been evicted. <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm so fucking happy. That's what she said. I said, um, what did I say? I said, because you know, normally, we, you know, before when, you know, Sal was there by himself, we all lived peacefully. It was quiet. It was wonderful. I'd come home to him playing his roaring loud, you know, war games or whatever. And then he'd cut that mess off at, at either 8.30 or 9 o'clock at the latest. So it was always pretty peaceful there, you know. Except on the weekends, we played our music kind of loud and we all, you know, kept our little neighborhood clean and... And then these people move in, and it's just like the ghetto. Yeah, y'all. Anyway, so I told her, I said, she just, ever since I wrote that letter to them, she's just been stomping around like a mad cow. And they purposely stomp, stomp, stomp up the stairs and, you know, let the baby bounce the hard basketball over my head in the kitchen from 9 o'clock in the morning until 12.45 at night. It, you know, it, it comes, it goes in spurts, of course, because sometimes he plays with, it sounds like a golf ball in the middle of her stomp, 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 stomping like a mad cow, you know? And I said to her, I said, that just keeps me flinching all the time. And normally, from my security background, I'm not normally a flincher. With her old heavy ass up there just stomping around all the time and they talk so loud and she wakes up every other morning looks like clockwork every other freaking morning she would you motherfucking son of a bitch at the top of her lungs you know so I said I'm very sorry you know I don't have my rent but I promise you I went online and and I got you know some loans from online to pay my rent. I promise I'll have it and my late fee to you on Friday. I promise. Okay, and she's very sweet about it. Thank God. I said, but I'm gonna. I said I have a ride coming now, and I'm gonna have him take me to Walgreens and get some of that Loma Till stuff. She says, yeah, you gotta replace your um, what's in bananas? What's in bananas? Potassium. I said, the only thing I've been doing is drinking tea and water. Because, I mean, you know, I don't have no money to buy medicine. And she said, well, it's, it's about $5 and, or whatever. I think she said 5 or $6. And um, you can get it at Walgreens. It's an over-the-counter thing. And I'm like, cool. Well, I have, my ride is coming. So I'll, I'll get some money from him and go get me some of that stuff. She said, yeah, I'm sorry, you're not feeling better. Yeah, they're just such rude people, she says in the sweetest little voice, you know. She says, yeah, well, we've, we've given them their, their eviction notice, so I hope they move. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> you hope? I'm like, oh boy. I felt like saying, did you give them a 30-day notice or a three-day notice? But 
I was good. I didn't say anything, so I'm really happy that I didn't do anything stupid, thank God. I'm like flatten their tires like I wanted to do. But I didn't. I waited, I waited, I waited, because you know what goes around comes around. So just wait it out, people. Just wait it out. And thank you, everyone, for your prayers. Now pray that they leave, like today. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. I love you. Be good to yourself. Um, yeah, enough said. Okay, love ya. Ha, ha, ha.